I've had Element Evan shoes since 2013, 2014, somewhere along there. I bought them in college. These are all paid for by myself. I got these on sale. Once again, I was in college, so it's the easiest shoe I could get. That was the highest quality I get at that time. First pair of shoes that I ever bought from Allen Edmonds are these combat boots here. I really like these boots. As I mentioned before in several past videos, I wear a triple E size. So Allen Edmonds is great because a lot of their models you can buy them if you do have a wide width because they have it. They have all the way from triple E all the way to triple A. So they accommodate a whole wide range of widths within feet. It's just a regular combat boot. Now, they wore through after about seven or eight years, but I rarely wear these because I have some Red Wings as well. But if you can look here, here is missing the stitch and then it's starting inside the tongue it's starting to come undone here this is not uncommon with Allen Edmonds if you're to buy them I'd certainly suggest be very careful and buy them on sale do not pay whole price for Allen Edmonds just don't do it it's not worth it in my opinion the next pair of shoes that I bought are my favorite pair of shoes that I own and these are penny loafers here so as you can see here I have a penny in here for penny loafer put these in here they were given to me as a present these are Masonic pennies because obviously I'm a Freemason so that is something that I really enjoy doing just put the penny in here a lot of guys don't do it but I figured it's kind of fun you know just have a little extra fun with it. I've had this resold two times three times now but I sent it back for the factory service to have them redone and both times they wear out really fast whereas the Carmina ones I wore I wore them all the time and it's not even close I barely worn these and these are double sold I have them double sold and I'll wear through these really fast which is really interesting as far as the other ones I think is a single sole another thing too that you'll notice is on these shoes they've started to crack right here it's cracked and then right here is a little scuff mark from here but inside the shoe here it's cracked as well here but like I said I've had these shoes for probably seven or eight years and I've gotten a lot of good use out of them they've been all over the place with me and once again these are in a triple E if I had to do it all over again once again I was in college so I was on a budget so I would have saved a little extra money and bought some Carminas when they go on sale which is rare but it gives you more time to save up so I mean it's kind of like a double-edged sword but at that time I didn't know Carminas even existed all I knew was Allen Edmonds because I like I said I worked at Art of Shaving 2013-2014 and there was a gentleman, one of our clients walked in, and he was talking about the shoes because I was wearing, I think it was Johnson & Murphy's or Florsheim, something like that. I don't. It was a long time ago. And he was like, yeah, try the Allen Edmonds. And I did, and I liked them. But obviously, they're not the same quality as a Carmina. And many people will tell you that the quality control inside the Allen Edmonds is not, is not what it used to be or just is not good at all, which will lead me to the second pair of shoes that I'm fixing to show you guys. But I love these shoes. These are my favorite shoes. But as I mentioned before, if I had to do it all over again, I would have saved it for Carmina's. But I didn't know about Carmina at that time. And that's just the way it is. But obviously, once these go out here, I'm going to have to buy new shoes. Because as you can see here, it's cracked. And then when they finished it right here, as you can see, this is sticking up. That never would happen on a Carmina shoe. This would never, ever happen. And I did this from the factory. These are from the factories. There's no way that would have happened with a Carmina shoe. That's just what you get when you get Allen Edmonds. I mean, is it a nice shoe? Yes. Is it good for someone on a budget? Sure, that's fine. Is it good for someone that's a college student? Of course. But if you're looking to have a better quality shoe, in my opinion, Carmina is well worth the wait as far as it's maybe $200 more. So if you can save up a little more, I'd recommend getting the Carmina shoe if you can get it at a discount too because they do, they do discounts certain parts of the year so you may be able to get it at a percentage off if not don't buy them from them directly look for other outlets like Balthazar or the rake sometimes they'll even go and sell there the Carmina shoes and you'll be able to get them at a discount whereas the actual Carmina site you may not be able to so that's something else to look out for so since so you my last pair these Chelsea boots very classic very easy to wear I've kept these five or six years now and as you can see here in the details it's starting to fray it's done that since I've owned these from the very beginning just the stitching is not perfect in here it's starting to come undone this stain came here from the factory but I got it as a discount so no I didn't the one I got as a factory second was my chucka boots okay 
So, but this came like this from the factory. It came stained right here. This leather started cracking right here. I've put so much moisturizer on here over the years. And even here you can see it's cracked here inside the leather. Like I said, even though I've taken care of the shoe, it's just cracked. And then here you can look at the finishing of the welt. It's not perfect at all with any stretch of the imagination. So once again, as I said, I think these retail for like three or $400. So you're looking at Carmina right here as far as the same price. And let me tell you, there's no comparison as far as the quality. Just no comparison, in my opinion. And here's the other shoe here. I got the ones with leather at the bottom. But as you can see here, once again, finishing right here. This came from the factory like this. I did not do this to the shoe, did not injure the shoe, didn't do anything besides wear it. But it came from the factory like this. And you guys can say, well, why didn't you return it? Well, I was a college student. I didn't know no better. I thought they came like this. I don't know. And then once again, if you don't know no better, how are you supposed to know? This is before I started watching YouTube or knew anything. Before I even educated myself. So I just thought that's how it came. I didn't know any better. So I'm telling you guys, this is not normal. This kind of stuff is not normal in a shoe like this. It's just not normal. So as I mentioned before, it's good for someone on a budget, Allen Edmonds. Most people won't notice these details, but if you can save the extra money, if you can find secondary sites, not the actual Carmina site itself, but if you can find secondary sites to buy Carmina shoes at a discount, and it's maybe $100, $150 more than Allen Edmonds, I would strongly, strongly suggest you buy the Carmina. And if not Carmina, and if you're looking at Shell Cordovan, I would go with Alden instead of the Allen Edmonds. So this is my review at Allen Edmonds. As I said, quality control is just not there from what of a shoe. But as I mentioned before, this is perfect for someone in college, perfect for someone that's starting in the workforce, looking for a regular shoe. I would recommend buying one pair of Allen Edmonds, wear the hell out of them, take care of them, save up some money, and then go from there. Get Aldens, get Carminas, go from there, and you'll be thankful that you did. Please subscribe down below, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you.